Guys, are you able to see my screen? Online people. Okay, thank you. Okay, so yesterday we discussed about security. There is in the Salesforce, there is two types of security. Okay, one is application level. That means which type of application we need to provide to the particular user, uh, which type of tabs, which type of objects, and which type of fields, blah blah blah. Whatever we are creating through point and click. Okay, so that is related to application level. Second one is data level. So whenever you are creating the record, that record able to see which users. You need to restrict the data. Okay. So these two concepts we need to cover in the Salesforce guys. First step. Application level security. Within that, there is a concept called. Okay, before that, simple guys. Yeah. For example, in the WhatsApp, we have so many groups, right? Right? In the WhatsApp, we have so many groups. For example, we have some one group is there. Okay, for example, batch uh, seven, six. So batch six or batch seven, one group is there. Within that, all the members are there. But uh, within the group, for example, this is the group here. Assuming that hundred members are there, that means hundred contacts are there. Right? In the WhatsApp point of view, hundred contacts are there. But uh, out of hundred, all the out of 100 people like some people for example Peter created this group okay now Peter added remaining 9-10 members alright now 99 users Okay, now Peter and remaining 99 person, 99 people. These all people, what type of access these people are having? One is these people able to send the messages or send the images, send the blah blah blah, and receiving the data, right? Text messages or images or something, right? Is there any difference, Peter and remaining 99? <laughs> This guy is a admin. Why? He is the guy to add any people or remove any people. But the remaining 99 people doesn't have to add one more guy. Why? Because those people have the, some restricted access. What is that? These people are able to see the data, able to receive the data, able to send the data. But the remaining 99 people don't have what about that? Able to add some other persons. That is the only difference between admin and this remaining people. Understand? So here the set of the set of permissions. What about that? These users 
having the, some permissions what are the permissions these people able to send send text messages this is one permission receive text messages same send content like uh, images or something images and receive images that's it but peter peter having all the permissions peter having peter having all the permissions the same permission of the other users plus he is managing the user that means managing other persons this is the extra right now this is the set of some permissions right set of some permissions and this is set of some permissions what is the difference here some extra permission for example one guy joined okay that guy is peter related uh, someone okay he is a best friend something at that time peter give the admin permission as well in that case that guy automatically applied normal permissions plus managing the other persons automatically applied why right? that guy also admin understand so in the whatsapp group whoever joined that guy may be the first permission or second permission automatically applied right so same like this set of permissions is called the sales force point of view profile what is that profile profile means set of permissions here what is the permission receiving the data sending the data or blah 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 right but in the sales force what is that under applications application level security we are using the first concept called what is that profile profile means set of access or set of permissions what type of access or what type of permissions what type of permissions application level permissions what are those app permission tab permission object permission fields page layouts record types blah blah blah, blah. so profile is set of permissions what type of permissions using profile we will manage apps apps objects fields all the configuration etc so profile is a concept okay using profile you can manage application level security what are those app within that app tabs within that app objects within the object fields page layouts data types everything understand here we can manage application level security through profile now what i will do i am creating one profile okay for example for example one doctor is joined in the hospital one doctor is joined the hospital now you need to give the or uh, you need to add the all the permissions to the doctor what type of permissions oh this guy required you need to give the what type of permissions sir this guy required hms application then what is the tab this guy required only doctor right doctor tap permission within that 
doctor object permission within that field some field permissions and within that there is no record so these are the permissions you need to give the this doctor okay so for example that is this is the doctor name for example this doctor name is uh, john something john is a doctor one john one doctor is joined now you need to provide the credentials right or credentials that means you need to in the sales force point of view you need to create one user with the john information whenever you are creating the user then you need to provide the this access only this access you need to give to the particular guy okay again one more guy one more doctor peter joined you need to add this all the you need to create the user with their data whatever the peter and email and something and give the this all the permissions to the peter why he is a doctor blah 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 for example eshoda hospital maybe in hyderabad thousand doctors are there right more than thousand okay so that means whenever one doctor is joined you need to add all the whatever that permissions all the doctors having the same permissions right all the doctors having the same permissions so that's the reason whenever i'm creating the user individual i am giving the access individual oh this guy required hms take the check box hms and app permission it is very difficult why because whenever that guy is joined what happened you need to give the app permission tap permission here very simple guys but in the real time there is no lot of access are there okay so then what i will do i need to first create one set this is the one set of permissions right i need to store this data in one object first the set of permissions i need to store one object so if you want that means the access level data i need to store doctor related access what are the access hms application that doctor tab doctor object fields and everything i need to store that data in one object what is the object that object is called profile in the profile i am creating one record okay then i don't want to pay the joint again i need to check the hms doctor tab doctor object. i don't want to do that why because already i am creating one profile doctor profile object that means profile record now what i will do whenever john is created so you this is the user right this object is called user object go to the user and create the user record whenever you are creating the user it is asking what is the profile that means internally user is using the profile information understand then which one is parent which one is child sorry user and profile level profile is a parent why right? profile information we are using to, uh, whatever that user so and whenever i see already profile is there doctor profile is there same like i am creating the reception profile reception profile record here this guy required hms tab is patient that's it right same like uh, for example someone like manager something this guy required he is uh, adding the pads or something so one profile manager profile i am creating one manager profile now whenever one guy joined john uh, so already profile records are already there whenever doctor is joined uh, he is a first of all one person is joined what is his role doctor then i need to map to the doctor directly 
automatically docs are already having some set of permissions that permissions automatically apply for example pager joint pager is subsumed then it is looked up to we are adding the profile as a which which profile reception profile one guy joined as a floor manager something at the time we are using this manager profile understand so in that case i don't want to add multiple permissions record is there just we are look up that that means same permission set the same profile set applicable to applicable for all the what about the users understand so we know this relation right so that means every user so in the sales force point of view doctor is a user receptionist is a user manager is a user whenever you are creating any user you before that you must creating the profile every user what about the every user profile is mandatory understand whenever you are creating any user before that it is asking what type of profile this guy belongs to so for example in our case in our case see here who is that this guy naresh it open naresh it user what is the profile system administrator system administrator means in the whatsapp group admin same like in the salesforce he is a admin he is having all the 100 percent is access he is the guy to give the other access so yesterday i told you one story in the real time we are giving the supporting right at the time we are the admins so one jo one doctor joined then the hospital people inform to us hey ashok one doctor joined he uh, create one user for him then i am the admin so i will give the what about that the doctor related permissions understand so admin means admin profile means he is having he is a superman okay he is having all the org permissions that's the reason anything you can do in the org now what about that one for example receptionist is joined now whenever the receptionist joined then what we will do you need to create the hospital people are in come to you then you need to create the user go to the users already so it is a developer edition guys only one user the whatever sales force people giving only one user okay the other users are will not work for us okay now we'll see new user before user see here it is asking profile there is so many what is that here see role what about your role user license user license means you are already purchasing the license from the sales force hey in my business i require 100 members so that means 100 members related license those people are provided once the 100 users are done you are unable to create any log understand so that is here see post chart complete here there is so many licenses are there if you want to what about develop anything create anything here salesforce is a license okay so in the salesforce license for developer edition those people are giving only one user okay now profile these are the different different profiles but i don't require these profiles i required my own profile what is that reception profile or doctor profile so first before creating the user i am creating one what about that profile profile means set of permissions okay first i leave it as it is duplicate what is that i am creating one profile profile also one object whatever it is storing the data that is one object now these are the profiles click on new profile see guys in the profile if you see here this is the profile right system admission we will open it. how it look like this is the profile details okay 
phase layouts. That means in the organization, how many phase layouts are there? All the phase layouts are available here. You need to give the access or remove the access for this profile. This is the page level section. Now, see how much data is there. Field level security. Which field you want to give the access or remove the access? That is the section. See all the objects related fields. It's the bed. If you open the bed, bed related fields are available. Now you can remove. I will explain you one by one. Again. Custom app settings. We are creating HMS, right? Where is the HMS? It is giving the checkbox. Why? Because already it is a system administrator profile. That means he is having the access. If you're removing here, then he is unable to see the HMS. That's it. Now, tab settings, standard tabs. See, home tab on, account tab on. On means able to see. Custom tabs. Whatever we have created, all the custom tabs are available here. If you are hide this, we are unable to see. Now, record types. See, there is no record types. These are the objects, guys. These are all are standard objects. In the real time, we are using. Only see the page and. Record types are there. Why? The patient we are building the record types. Then you need to give the record type access to the profile or not. Here you need to decide it. Administrative permissions. This is the different. Now, standard object permission. These are the object related permissions. Custom object permissions. Now, here guys, very important. Password policies. Here, see, we are already creating the password, right? So, for example, see, user password expired in 90 days. That means after 90 days, it is asking, hey, can you reset your password? You need to set up that value here. Understand? So, that is 30 days or 45 days or 90 days or 120 days, you need to set up here. And uh, Enforce password history. For example, today you are setting test at the rate of 123. Your password expired is 30 days. After 30 days, it is asking, hey, can you change your password? Whenever you are login, it is asking, change your password. It's redirecting the new password. At that time, again, you are putting that test at the rate of 123. It is not allowed. Why? Because that is the old one. How many old passwords it is remember means you need to set up here three passwords. That means today test, after one month test one, after two months test uh, two, then again test one, uh, test is accepted. That means in the fourth one, test is accepted. But last three passwords, it is checking you are using the last three passwords or not. For example, you are entered like test one, two, three. It is checking last three passwords history. If it is same, it is not allowed. So that is the setting here. Okay, now minimum password length. Hey, you can configure here. You know, some people are 15, some people are 60, something. Password complex is required. Must include alpha, numeric, alpha characters. That means password must be alpha, numeric, character. Everything you need to step here. What is that? Password question requirements cannot contain password. And Maximum login items. For example, you are forgot your password. We are try, try, try. For example, in the banking, after three three items, your account will be locked. You need to raise the request to the bank people. Here, ten. In the banking application, we are added like three. Why? Because after three login items, it is blocked automatically. Okay? Then you need to inform to the admin that guy is again reset the password. So here it is a ten. That means ten times you need to attempt the 11th or once 10 is completed your account will be placed or locked and lack of effective period 15 minutes that means after 15 minutes again it is whatever that uh, in, uh, activated at that time those people are whatever reset your password you need to inform your admin people these are the different different uh, whatever that uh, settings guys again Login hours. 
what is the login numbers for example it is a banking application banking application must be for example hsbc hsbc having a lot of banking applications guys those people are dealing with the banking applications so in the banking applications the data is very 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 confidential whenever you are working with the banking application in the working premises those people are not allowing your pen drives or hard drives or mobiles as well okay you can put your all the things in the one whatever your cabin or something then go to the workspace okay so here for example you have a username and password now you are come to the home and you can open that whenever you are open in your org in your home then that maybe the data will be misused so that's the reason some projects those people are restricted you need to log in that org within the work premises work premises means your office only so your office having some internet that internet having some ip ranges so here whenever you are log in anywhere for example the proxy guys in the us those people are already the fake people are already there those people have got the job those people are what about that supporting from india india people are supporting at that time those people are shared their credentials to the indian guys okay so that org belongs to us so you for example it is a it is a what about that uh, some good companies guys those people are having the security team. those people are monitoring whenever every day you were you were logging in the us in particular region but one day like last three months you were logging in one particular location that is a it is not unexpected why because you were logging in the same premises like either home or either office but one day for example one of the projects whenever i joined one company so in the production so we are moving our code to the production but whenever we have a auto rabbit credentials guys auto rabbit means one of the tool we are moving the entire code to the production okay at that time what what uh, what is happening my team is in us and chennai and india uh, in hyderabad i am the only person from the hyderabad okay so now my team member responsible for moving the code i am monitoring but that guy so in the, uh, every day that what about that uh, that org or credentials the production or credentials login in the us okay every day uh, whenever it is required but suddenly i don't have access that is a different team i don't have access so that guy sending their credentials to me so in the deployment uh, process so i am open that immediately within the five day, five minutes i got the call how i got the call it's a uh, whenever i joined at that time it is coming so those people don't know my role and everything so the one of the lady called to me hey, i'm from so and so so i'm the security team why this uh, sorry now why these credentials are misused why you are uh, what about that you are using this and that guy also who is the source that guy also got the call we are the persons to respond to to give the answer otherwise it is very serious action okay then my what about the top directors those people are hey this is okay we are all all are there so that means our uh, account or something is not hacked okay why because it is unexpected how those people are monitoring means because of this login history whenever you for login what happened all the login history will be available when it is login where it is login your ip ranges and everything understand so be careful whenever you are us or uk something okay those people are starting when once you are got the job you were gave the support you will take the support from india or something don't share your credentials to the india or someone why because the what about that the the security team easily identified you are see before five minutes the org is open in the us after five minutes the org is open in the india how it is not possible the same person is not possible until it is a superman also not possible right so that means it is an unexpected behavior immediately those people are called it is very very severe action guys so please care about that okay for example you are in hyderabad you within five minutes open in the chennai that is also unexpected so how those people are monitoring login login hours sorry login history sorry not login hours login ip ranges login history also there guys let me show you 
So here those people are yeah log in hours. What is meant by log in hours means uh, in the banking uh, sectors, those people are saying that morning 10 to see if you, if you open that. Sunday, holiday, Monday, starting time is 10 a.m., ending time is 5 p.m., that's it, like that. So before 10, if you want to, even though you are in the work premises, if you want to log in, you are unable to log in. Understand, unable to log in, you are org. Why? It is already set the times. Understand? So how to set? In the login hours, in the profile level, login hours. And Second one, this is the login hours, login IP ranges, I told you. Every premises, for example, Naresh, this org is open in the Naresh, Naresh IP already internet, right? That IP is there. That IP you need to add, start IP and end IP. Within these IP ranges, only the org will open. Out of this IP range, org will not open. This is the security, right? Understand, the profile level, this is the security. Next. The remaining don't require. So this is the some settings, guys. Okay. So here all are the the profile level you need to manage your app permission, uh, tab permission, object permission, base layouts, record types, fields, login IP ranges, login history, uh, login hours. Everything you need to manage through profile level. Understand? Now we need to, for example, our reception guy. Reception guy maybe. After it is a cloud, right? Cloud platform. So after working hours, that guy go to home and open the org. So that's the reason you need to restrict the whatever that hours, hours as well as IP ranges. How through profile? This is the interview question. So how those guys are asking? Hey, I have a scenario. What is that? One of the employees there. That employee only open their org within this timeline. Is it possible? Yes, through profile it is possible. In the profile, go to the particular guy related profile and go to the login history, login hours. In the login hours, you need to set that. Okay. And one more scenario. The same person open the org within the work premises only. Is it possible? Yes. Go to the profile within that IP ranges. Option is there. Add in the IP ranges, add your start IP and end IP. That means whenever that guy is logged in, the system checks the login network ID, uh, IP and uh, configure IP, both are mapping or not. If it is a matching, then only R will be opened, otherwise it will not, uh, will not open. Understand? So these are, see this is the concept those guys are asking in a different way. I have a banking application, so I need security. Okay, how you are providing the security? At that time, you need to tell that login hours, IP ranges, and profile level, everything. Understand? Okay. Now, guys, now come to our story. This guy is a system administrator. But now I required a, what is that? A reception profile. Reception profile means if I am entering this much of data, how much data? So much of data. If I am entering this much of data, it is taking three days more than three days right it is very typical so that's the reason what i will do i don't want to create new record i want to copy the existing profile similar profile copy means clone i want to clone that then change the name then remove remove whatever i don't require understand what i will do i don't want to create new one i want to clone it otherwise if you want to create, for example, see, there is other option. There is also other way. What is that? New profile. It is not showing all the fields, see? Like page level. Which profile is similar to your profile? Which profile I want to copy? It? Understand? The same profile copying in your profile, then you need to modify it. Understand? If you are providing the all the data, if you are fill the data, it is one week, more than one week it will be there, right? It will be taking. So that's the reason those people are providing for profile creation, those people are providing this, whatever this option. Now here see, 
existing profile is related to what is the system administrator. See user license, search for profile name. What is that? Reception profile. Now what happened? Reception. Okay. Now if I click on save, what happened? All the system administrator set of permissions will be copied to our custom profile. What is that? Reception profile. Save. Reception profile is created. Now this reception profile. Okay, first of all, this is the reception profile, right? Maybe one reception profile is there, but I'm not modifying anything. So this is the clone of system administrator. That means system administrator, reception profile, both are same. Okay, now I am creating one new user. I all told you every user profile is mandatory, right? Whenever one guy joined, what are the permissions? You need to tell that. So that's the reason every user profile is mandatory. So here see, I'm click on new. First name, mm, for example, reception user, okay? Last name is user. Just for our identification, reception user alias email i'm adding my mail id that guy don't have mail id right now username what is the username username is reception at the rate of batch seven batch seven dot com Okay, batch seven means Apollo or something. So this is the username, guys. I'm creating one user for this reception user. What is the username? Reception. Please remember, guys. Why? Because we are using this login. Okay. Reception at the rate of batch seven. Hmm. Now here role. I don't require any role. User license. What is the user license? Salesforce. Okay. Now what is the profile? What is the profile? See, resident profile already come. That means here, see, profile is mandatory. Every user profile is mandatory. And also every user, how many profiles we need to add? One not more than one. Only one. Every user utilize one profile. Okay, that profile. Whenever you are creating the user, profile is mandatory. Every user, one profile must be mapping. Okay, these are the two sentences. Sorry? Second profile is not narrated, it's system administrator, right? System system administrator. Narration is a system administrator. That that guy profile system administrator. Already there, right? Got it, right? Narration is a user. In the starting we are creating whenever you are creating the org at the time, narration user is created. That narration automatic system administrator added. But now admin is there. Now you are the responsible to create the multiple users with the same arm. In the real time, we are getting multiple users. But here only one user. Okay, in the developer edition. Okay, now see here, this guy is active. Here see time zone. Time zone. That guy. If you want the address and everything, you can add it. Time zone. This guy is what is that? I don't require. We are in plus five thirty, yeah. Calcutta, right? India standard time. Asia, Calcutta. He is from India. Hmm? What is it? La local. Indonesia is the next seven hundred. Oh, it is a local guy. Sorry. Yeah. 
English, 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 Indian. Anything is fine, guys. No need to worry about it. Okay. Now, long with English. Telugu not possible, guys. Okay. Hmm? Here, yeah. these are the different different languages are supported. English, German, Spanish. That means this guy belongs to which country? Okay. So, or these automatically converted this country. So, we, we have a concept I will tell you at the time. Now, English. Remaining don't require self. So, now here we are creating one profile. That profile we are added to the user. Now, one is system administrator, one is reception user. Okay. Now, this is the guy, reception user. Whenever I am creating the record, what about that? I am getting the maybe we'll see. Hey guys, support. Okay, Recep what is the username? Reception at the rate of batch seven dot com. Okay, it is valid. Now, after that, you need to set the password. I already told you, right? For example, this guy is uh, attempt like three times or ten times. Then what happened? Account is blocked. Whenever it is blocked, this administrator click on the reset password. See, this is user. New password. Okay. Now go to your able to get them. Let's see if you take. Send via email. The user will be required to enter new password. Password already sent, but I'm not getting. Again, I will click on that and see if it is not coming. See, see guys, I'm getting there. <coughs> Only this particular password. Similar messages were still people to work on. Okay. This link is expert 24 hours. So, this is the link. Why it is not? We are not getting it in so, Then I can open that link. Why, why, why? This is actually this is the link. Why hyper is not coming? Hyper link. Okay. Control C. Open the browser. Then change your password. Now you can change your password. 
What is the password? It is your phone. Who is the user? Huh? This user, guys. Reception. See, reception user. Okay. Go to the class. Now see this guy. All like administrator, whatever the permission already has been given, all the permissions are done. Now you can start your. Process. What is that? This guy is a admin. Okay, but uh, I need to see, guys. Whenever you are open, it is a little bit confused. Whenever you are open other org, see, both are in the Chrome org, Chrome browser. So session will be expired. Okay, only one is working. So that's the reason what I will do. I am um, log out here. Check for my account also here. Now first, close it. This is the org. Which org it is? See, this is expired. Why? Because in the same browser, whenever you are open the other account, the old account will be the session is expired. Okay, so that's the reason. First, batch seven here. That means this org already having the batch seven. Now you need to open other org in the new incognito window. Here, submit the email for your session. Okay, okay. 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 So this is the Naresh ID. Okay. Now I need to open incognito. Incognito means other window. Okay, within the same browser, but sessions are different. So that's the reason here. Incognito. It is a black. Okay. Now what is the URL login dot Salesforce? What is the user, guys? What is the user? R E C E I P T I O M reception at the rate of batch seven dot com. What is the password, guys? Hmm? This is the password. Okay. So now two orgs are open. The two different different uh, sessions. You so here this is the reception guy. This guy don't required whatever the first uh, app level, right? App level, you need to restrict that. This guy required only HMS, not other. That means you need to hide the all the applications except HMS. Then go to the whatever reception user and respect to profile in the admin org. Where is the admin org? It is bit difficult, guys. Okay. But because I want to navigate uh, screens, okay, you need to understand. Now we are set up this the admin, right? Is the admin. So in the admin, open the user. Who is the user? Reception user. In the reception user, which one is controlled? Profile. This all the permissions controlled by the profile, right? So where is the user? Reception user. Otherwise, like this. Users. Within that, which user, reception user, all the users are there. This user related profile, reception profile, open. Now edit, guys. I don't want to remove. It is taking lot of time. First of all, which one you need to hide? Here, which permission you need to? Here, all the permissions are there. So first, you need to remove the apps. Which apps? Except HMS, remove other apps. Understand? Except HMS, remove other apps. See edit. Where is the apps? Custom app settings. See here. There is so many apps are there. Where is the HMS? This is the HMS. Remove other.
we are unable to remove sales why because whenever you are open sales is a deep alert so that's the reason now whenever reception user is open that that guy is open or whatever utilizing only one application so that's the reason this is the default hms is a default default application then you need to remove understand now reception user whenever he is opened only one application more than one is not there right hms will open we are con we are that removing the other applications permissions using profile now we'll see here is the guy right now i need to reload it what happened something is happened but we don't know what happened right what is that here there is no apps drop down why if this guy is using more than one then the drop down is coming but this guy is open only one what is that default application is hms so hms is open hospital doctor patient right right now app is done this guy open hms open only that means we are removing the other applications using profile then what is that within the profile this guy don't required hospital doctor beds right now what i will do within the profile go to the okay edit go to the tabs okay here these are the so many tabs are there guys i don't want to do all those things it's take more time come to custom tabs i want to hide bed doctor hospital patients is fine okay now i am what about that hiding the remaining tabs i'm only open the patient tab now see understand so now within the patient this is the patient now for the forget about data new Record types. Okay, these two page layouts are required. Okay, now whenever this guy is like this, now within that my patient name. Okay, this is the column. Okay, so I don't know this guy. This option guy don't required. For example, anything else? Uh, blood group and disease. It's in there. Again, I will drop it back. This option guy don't required. We are unable. Uh, we don't want to see these two fields. Which fields? Disease and blood group. I want to hide again. And object permissions, guys. One second. Where is the object permission? First of all, we are hide the tabs. Same like we are. We don't want to give the object permissions also. Where is the objects? This is the objects. Within the object, this is the. custom object permissions okay here see guys i will tell you object permissions and uh, okay see guys here save button save in new cancel these are the buttons if you open that edit button is there and in the layout we are removing actually i want to add all the buttons now is it also there now see see guys edit delete save main buttons right understand here whenever you are open any record we are able to see the record we are able to see the record we are able to see the record means here in the patient see read i am removing the read access read means we are unable to see the record you we'll see the 
object level what happened there is no read permission there is no read permission means even though that guy have the tab permission or whatever may be content permit read permission is not there read permission not there means he is unable to do, see anything understand so what is the option in the object level in the object level basic access see what is that read read means he is able to see the data okay you can see now by default all are checked guys okay now see i just added this guy able to see but he is not able to do anything why there is no buttons even though see the inline if you click on anything nothing will be see we are unable to do anything understand so he is able to see the record but he can't do anything how we are restricting that only we are giving the read permission on the particular object every time we are grab okay read permission read means custom object permission read means he is able to see but can't do anything create create means see here there is a previously here there is a new button create button but now new button is not there understand why create option is we are restricted now see here there is no new button now i just added create create means new button is even though in the page layout new button or save button everything will be there if you are off here if you are inactive here that will not impact in the page layout even the save button delete button edit button everything is there but if you are uncheck these check boxes those are not able to see understand now see read and create what is the edit save button okay save and see here edit button if you go to click on go see here previously edit is there if you remember now here not there here also there is no edit button okay now i will add edit set that object level now it is coming if you open the record it is working understand now but here reception guy we don't want to give the delete option why that guy job is only capturing the information not delete the records so in that case we are not provide the delete option for example if you want to delete give the delete option as well edit delete now even though those buttons are already in the page layout but if you are what about the restricted in the profile level those will not work so that is the power of what about the profile understand through profile we are for example in the field level for example i don't require which field a is field or blood group something any field for example here i don't require blood group and 
disease blood group and disease how field level right field every field will be there in the object level go to field level security where is that read it object you can go there guys okay so where is the field level field level security which field patient field where is the patient very difficult control a simple patient see this is the custom field level security patient view click on that see these are the fields read access and date access is there now edit which field you don't required let's group on third one whenever you are remove the read access the read access is also automatically removed and again this is this one now this is a look up huh? this is is a tick list this is the one right now save it. now see this is a blood group gone but those fields are already there in the page level so in the real time that is the confuse so many people are asking hey these fields are already in the page level why it is we are unable to see why because those fields are restricted in the profile level profile is a superman in the sales force that guy do anything that guy is controlled everything in the all understand that's it guys we'll see tomorrow any questions sorry sorry guys so oh, sorry tomorrow is in real time we can do this security level settings in the lightning also we have to switch to lightning version make it changes so lightning and uh, both are same kiran right both are same both are same screens right if you go to the lightning switch to lightning then come to same uh, what about uh, same screens there is no difference but we'll see okay no problem thank you guys any questions okay thank you happy sunday bye <laughs>